In this video, we'll walk through the steps for making a multiple regression equation. The multiple regression equation is used when you have a set of y values and then more than one independent x variables. So that standard form of the multiple regression equation is y hat equals a, the intercept, plus b sub 1 times x sub 1 plus b sub 2 times x sub 2. And then we'll just keep on adding different coefficients times different variables up to b sub k times x sub k. So this general form is where you have some k number of independent variables. In our example below, we have three independent var variables, x sub 1, x sub 2, and x sub 3. And real quickly, what these all mean, the y hat, that's the prediction. So you plug in some information that you have and try to make a prediction. And then a is the intercept. That is, what would y hat be if, if you set all of these x values to 0? The b values, these individual b values, are the coefficients. And each one is different. So I'll write that down, coefficients. And know that every one of these is different for each different independent variable. And then, of course, the x's, as we've said, are the variables. And you can have as many as you want. In our example, we have three. So let's talk about what's going on here. Our y data is for a collection of stocks and the share prices. And what I looked at here is how much did the stock's price change today? This is what we have. So all these different percent changes. Some changed only a 0.773%, some changed by almost uh, 4%, and some went down. And then that's, that's, our in, uh, that's our dependent variable. Our independent variables, the first one is previous day's percent change. So you, you know, you don't know what it's going to do today. I do at the end of the day, but at the beginning of the day, you don't know. But you do know yesterday, previous day's percent change and what happened. And then previous day's high. So, so uh, shares change value throughout the day. And uh, sometimes it'll, like for example, it'll go up to $10 and then close at $9. That's just an example. So what is, what is that previous day's high as a percent of of the previous day's close and also was the previous day's low as a percent of of its close yesterday and and maybe with luck we could use this information then to predict what the stock is going to do uh, the next day so um, now it, if I should say that if this worked easily I would already be doing it but uh, but this is a good example for for what people do to to make predictions Okay, I'm going to go to Tools and then do the Add-ins Analysis Tool Pack. If you've done that al already, you won't need to do it again. But we do that, and then Tools Data Analysis. Now this is with Office XP, so if you have a newer version, it's going to the Tools button might look a little bit different or be in a different spot. But you do have this Data Analysis as an Add-in. Now we go to the Regression of the data analysis. I click OK on that and then I'm going to choose all of my data. Now I'm not going to choose this Y because that's that's just for uh, for you to see what the variables are. I'm, but I will include the labels here. So I'm choosing the Y data first. Today's percent change and then all of this data. And it goes down quite a ways. So we'll choose all of that. And I've got the top couple of rows frozen. That's why you don't see those moving. And then I'm going to choose the input range for X's. And I can choose all of this at once. Excel is smart enough to know that I'm choosing it all. And I will choose the labels, not the X's, but just the previous day's labels. Because I'm going to put in here, hey, I've got the labels. I'm not going to mess with the confidence interval. This, this is like a flight checklist. Look at all these things, although it'll give us one by default. Output range. I'm going to put the output range right in this. I'm going to start it up in the upper left-hand corner. It's going to be right at F1, this cell. 
Okay, I'm ready to go. I don't need any of this other stuff for this example. Okay. Gave us a little message there, but we don't have to worry about it for now. Now, previous days, percent change, and the intercept and all this stuff. The coefficients. This is what we're looking at right here. All this information. So I'm going to pull this out um, and, and write the equation. So in yellow here, y hat equals, if all x values were set to zero, you could say, well, what if there was no change yesterday? No, no percent change, and, and the high was exactly the, um, was zero percent, which is kind of impossible, but and the low is zero percent of the close. If all of the x's were zero, then a, there would be, we're looking at a 17 percent, I'm sorry, 0.17 percent change. I'll round 0.179 percent change if all the x's were set to zero. Plus, now the coefficient for x sub 1, that's 0 0.02 0 0.02 2 times x sub 1, and that's that's this. That's this column. So if the per previous day's percent change was up or down, you'd multiply by that 0.22 and then plus 0 0.128 times x sub 2, that's the previous day's highest percent of close, and then minus, we've got a negative there, minus 0 0.312 times x sub 3. So what you could do then is take yesterday's information, plug it in for x sub 1, x sub 2, and x sub 3, and make a prediction for how a stock is going to perform, and it's actually the average of all stocks that have that same information, how it might perform. Like I said, it's not a great predictor. Don't, don't think you're going to, I don't want to mislead you and, and think that uh, you, you can use this very easily to predict stocks, and I, I wouldn't want to get in trouble. But... Uh, but it's a good example for the multiple regression equation.